A World Economic Forum insider has declared that the globalist elite are going to become gods. And if you interfere with this process, there will be big trouble. According to the globalists, the only way to stop them becoming gods is to kill them. And before you manage to do that, they will kill you. This is the most direct and bloodthirsty warning from the WEF to date. And it leaves no room for the mainstream media and their fact checkers to dissemble the facts and muddy the waters. There is no room for debate. The globalist elite have messiah complexes, and they are hell-bent on playing God. Before we dive in, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join the People's Voice Locals community for uncensored and exclusive news and views, and to support the channel. According to this WF insider, if you don't like the agenda of the globalist elite, you don't have to participate. You can go and get yourself euthanized. If you pay close attention, you'll hear that he clearly states that they are going to become gods, and there is nothing you can do about it. If you try and resist, they will kill you. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 or is to kill me. You kill me, I'll kill you. The chilling speech mirrors warnings delivered by Yuvanov Harari, Klaus Schwab's right-hand man in recent times. Harari also mocks ordinary people as useless and hopeless, and tells humanity they have no future worth living in the brave new world of the WF's Agenda 2030, where the elites have the power of creation and destruction. Developing even bigger powers than ever before, we are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. But the black... Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Raka Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. All right. So basically, the, the, the topic of tonight's show, Lord willing, will, will simply be entitled Bring My Soul Out of Prison, Psalms 142. And basically, Lord willing, I'll be reading that scripture, all right, along with, uh, I'll just be reading two more scriptures tonight, uh, including Psalms 142, which, which is where I, where I, which is where I based uh, tonight's topic on from a, a quotation off one of the verses of that scripture, bring my soul out of prison, all right? And, and basically I, I chose it, I chose it because that, that's the times that we're in, all right? And I, I chose to bring up the, the scripture of 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, then shall the wicked be revealed, all right? And they, they, and now more than ever, they are being revealed, all right? And they, they themselves are revealing themselves more and more. They're revealing their, their sinister plans, all right, for, 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 for all of so-called humanity, all right? But make no mistake about it. Their real target is the nation of Israel. The real target, the 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 real the, the the people that they really want to be on top of and rule over is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, all right, and and, and some of you 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 uh so-called confusion of faces, which may look like the other nations, but your seed goes back to Israel. All right, you have no escaping. You have no, no escape. Even even some of you pure white people, 
even some of you regular crackers that might be watching, there is no escape from 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 the plans of, of your upper elites, man. All right? You just heard what you just heard in the video what what that old wicked man said, all right? That uh, he 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 was one of he's one of these these wicked elite. He said straight up, if you don't comply, if you don't comply with us, all right, if you try to kill me, I'll kill you. All right. And that bold statement, as you see right here on, on, on the you see it right here in this article. All right. The the World Economic Forum, WEF declare, and I quote, we are gods. If you stand in our way, you will die. So, all right, so that's the seriousness of the times that we're in, y'all. All right, that's the seriousness of the times that we're in, the times that we're headed right now. All right, that this 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 bald-headed demon you see right there, Klaus Schwab, all right, or 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 Cotton Swab, all right, the, the, this this boiled egg. This boiled egg-headed looking individual right here, he, he, he's one of our top enemies right now, man. He's one of the main spearheaders of this whole New World Order thing, man. He looks like something straight out of, out of a fucking James Bond movie, all right? So we, so we are living in, in, a, in a James Bond superhero movie, man, all right? Where, 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 where this individual that you see right here is proving himself day by day, along with, with the rest of the global elite, to be your real-life Lex Luthor, all right? Your, your real-life Lex Luthor and, and all these other uh, uh, fictional villains that, that you thought were just movie characters for a while. All right, and they, 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 day in and day out, they are revealing themselves to be more the super wicked man. That just, just like I just read you in Second Thessalonians, then shall that wicked be revealed. Who, who's that wicked? That, that, that so-called white face that you see right there. That, that bald-headed demon. All right, he's one of them wicked men. All right. And, and 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 I'm gonna read I'm gonna read just just a little of of, of this article I, I already played you the video I'm only gonna read the the, the top all right b below the headline all right now this article came out only a few days ago dated August 17th all right a world economic foreign insider has declared, that the globalist elite are going to become gods. And if you interfere with this process, there will be big trouble. According to the globalists, the only way to stop them becoming gods is to kill them. Before you manage to do that, they will kill you. All right? So, may, hey, this, this is not, this is not a, a, a movie script. All right, and it, it is not a, a comic book article, and it, it is not, it is no fantasy. All right, it is reality. All right, and it, it is it is part of the harsh reality that these demons are trying to impose upon you people of this planet Earth real soon, man. All right, that the, these are the times that we're headed in. All right, so you you see. You see the photograph, all right, of this devil right here and, and, and the paratroopers right behind him, all right? That, 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 that's, what, that, that's, that's what they're bringing in these last days, all right? Revelation 12 and 12, and another indicator whom your enemy is, all right? For the devil shall come down with great wrath, all right? Okay? For the devil shall come upon you having great wrath, great wrath, fierce anger, and indignation, a will to kill, to destroy. He wants to destroy, 
He wants to try and destroy as many of us as he could. He wants to try and destroy as many of you as, as he could. For the devil shall come upon you having great wrath, for he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right? Revelation 12 and 12, man. Okay? And, and, and not only is he going to try to kill people, all right? He wants to persecute the prophets, man. He wants to persecute and try to murder the, the, the true men of the Most High, man. All right? He wants to try and, 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 and decapitate the, 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 the son of the true men of the Most High. All right? If, if they don't, the, of, of course they're not going to bow down to his, to his New World Order system. Nor, nor, nor accept his his goddamn uh, uh, MOTB, all right? You understand what I'm saying? That there's going to be dire consequences for, for, for anybody, all right? Not just the prophets not complying to these, to these, you know, to, to the, to the, you know, to the demands of these devils, man, all right? There is no, the, the, the only escape that we may have and will have, Abba Ratasa, is in the name of Yahweh Bahashan Yahushai. All right? He's going to help us, Lord willing, cope with these harsh, these harsh times that are coming. All right? For some of you that might already be complaining that, 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 that we've been going through hard times, all right, hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. The, the things are only starting to warm up, all right? The things are only starting to warm up before they get much hotter, all right? Plain and simple, the, 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 this devil, he wants to persecute brothers. He wants to bring them b before a court, all right? He wants to bring them up before a trial, and he, and he wants to incarcerate them, man, all right? Like it or not, these are the times that we're living in, all right? These are the times that we're living in, and I'm only trying to warn you, just, just like beginning from, from the elders and apostles on down have also been trying to warn you, all right? That these things are not far-fetched anymore, that they are right, right around the damn corner, man, all right? They are right around the damn corner, all right? And those of us that are already in this truth must sharpen our minds and, and be alert, be ready for what's coming, all right? Okay, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, all right? And we're going to need plenty of mental stability, all right? We're going to need plenty of stability. And in, in the name of Yahweh Bahashan Yahushai, we're going to need plenty of stability to help us cope with all this hell and tyranny that these devils have in store and bringing in these last days, man. All right? You understand what I'm saying? So without further ado, Let's let's go to the scriptures now. All right. I'm gonna start reading Psalms Psalms 142. All right. Psalms 142. All right. I basically became inspired. I was meditating on, on that scripture a few days ago, and I thought I'd bring it to light tonight. All right. So Psalms 142, okay? Prayer for help in trouble, okay? The, 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 this was a, a prayer that, that King David uh, uh, made unto the Most High when, when apparently he was persecuted and placed in a cave. As I'm getting ready to, to read in verse 1 over here. <coughs> Salakia. Psalm, Psalms 142 and 1 of, of David, a prayer when he was in the cave. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord that I make my supplication. 
I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path and the way wherein I walked, have they privately laid a snare for me. All right, so, so hey, I just played you the video. I, I read you a little bit of the article. I showed in bold print what 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 the e what the so-called WEF has declared that they are gods. All right, and I first read the the, the book of Second Thessalonians two and eight. Then shall the wicked be revealed. All right, and this so-called white man primarily his elites are revealing themselves more and more to be the wicked day in and day out now, all right? And they can't wait to unleash this, this hell, this tyranny upon you people out there, man. A, a lot of you that, that are not mentally prepared, all right, nor mentally stable enough, you, 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 hey, if, 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 if you don't call upon the name of the Most High, you're you're gonna fall trap, all right? To 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 these bunch of snares, all right. I just read the scripture right there. Many of you are gonna fall trap to these snares, all right. And and these these other devices that 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 this devil is plotting against you, man. All right. That that's why David said here, all right. In the way wherein I walked. Have they privately laid a snare for me? I'm going to keep reading on. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me. No man cared for my soul. All right? And these are the times that we're living in. Nobody really cares. All right? Let me just make it plain. Nobody really cares for a nigga. All right? Nobody cares for a nigger. Plain, plain and simple. Nobody cares for a nigger. It doesn't matter how dark skinned you might be or how lighter skinned you are. A nigger is a nigger, man. All right? A nigger is a nigger. All right? And I, and I ain't saying this to try and, and offend any of you uh, 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 color sensitive people that might be watching. It's a plain fact, and even you yourselves know it, all right? Nobody is for a nigger, man, all right? Even those of our own people, they let us down, all right? Especially those of our own people who have that lighter skin, man, all right? And, and, and many of them like thinking that they're fucking white. You understand what I'm saying? That they, they, they like to move in, into this white man's neighborhoods, they like intermarrying him. They like having children with him and so on, man. All right? Meanwhile, they like to think of you, the, the, the colored man, as being less than nothing. You understand what I'm saying? All right? Do you understand what I'm saying? That, that there be many racist Latinos out there, but many of our own people, so-called Hispanics, all right? especially those that, that could almost pass for white, they're racist, man. The, the majority of them are racist, and, and they're not for you, all right? They're not for any of us that, that have that darker skin, man. That they go around shunning you people of color, all right? Okay? That these so-called Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, Cubans, Mexicans, Colombians, you name it. If they have that lighter skin, all right, you best better believe that they're racist, all right? They may not be straight up Edomites, but the but but the, the, the they still they have been indoctrinated to have that this the Edomite mentality on them, to think that they are white, that they could pass being white. You understand what I'm saying? And look down on on on, on you Negroes. Look down on you Negroes, all right? Okay? You, you Negroes, uh, that doesn't matter if you're from the tribe of Judah, uh, uh, Simeon, or uh, 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 Manasseh, or even Issachar, man. That there be, there be many dark-skinned Mexicans that, 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 
that that look almost like so-called African Americans. You understand what I'm saying, man? And they get looked down upon and shunned at by the white-looking Mexicans, whether in Mexico or even here in America, man. All right. So, so, so that that once again, and 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 connecting it to this scripture right here to what David said, no man cared for my soul. No man cared for my soul. All right. No man cared for my soul. All right. And and the Lord, the the so the Lord Yahweh Himself said, even so called Jesus said. And that's not his real name, all right? Even, even so-called Jesus said, whose real name is Shai, even he said in the book of Matthew, for the love of many shall wax cold. And we are living in, the, in these times. We are living in these days, man. The, the love of many just keeps wax, waxing cold day in and day out, man. Nobody is for nobody. Nobody gives up. A fuck about you. Nobody gives a shit about you, especially if you're a person of color. All right? Everybody likes to shun a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? All right? But Lord William Abaratasa, we, 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 are, we are approaching the end of, of all this reproach, of all this shunning, and all this shame that we're still under, man. All right? Verse 5, I cried unto thee, O Most High. I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from, from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Okay? And, and, and these so-called wicked elite, the, 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 these, these elite, all right, Beginning with that that bald headed face demon right there, okay? They may not have spiritual powers, but but they have lots of wealth, all right? That that all, all that money, all 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 that wealth that that really belongs to us, that this wealth that they claims to be theirs really belongs to you so called people of color, man. They stole it from us, okay? This so-called white man stole the, the whole entire earth along with the resources that were once possessed by people of color. So you can understand. All right? Okay? Right now, the, these riches that, that he stole from us, okay, that makes them stronger than we are. All right? And they, they, they boast and have great pride in having these riches that really fucking don't belong to them. All right? Play them simple, y'all. All right? So I'm going to keep reading more. All right? Once again, attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Okay? Bring my soul out of prison. Okay? And, 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 that's, and that's how I got to entitle tonight's show, man. Okay, bring my soul out of prison. Okay, because right now most of us may not be in an actual prison, but we are still incarcerated. We have been incarcerated in our mind. We have been incarcerated by, by this system. Okay, and right now our enemies, okay, the, the beginning with the WEF, the super elite, they want to try and incarcerate us even more, man. Okay? That, that's why, that's why I, I, I read here, bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. All right? So that's, that, that, that's one hell of a beautiful scripture right there, man. All right? And and, 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 and and I hope I hope it may provide uh, edification and comfort to whoever else might 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 share some some of the same bullshit that I go from a day by day basis, man. All right.
So the, the next scripture that, that I want to bring up will be Isaiah. Okay. This will be my last scripture, Isaiah 49. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 49 now. All right. Isaiah 49 could, could serve as, as a precept to what I just read. All right. And you'll see why real shortly. All right, so Isaiah 49, and now read verses 7 through 13, all right? Okay, Isaiah 49 and 7. Thus said the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, Yasha Allah, and his Holy One, to him whom man despises, to him whom the nation of horror to a servant of rulers, Salakia. All right, Salakia about that. To a servant of rulers, king shall, king shall see, Salakia. Kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of, of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel and he shall choose thee. Verse 8, Thus saith the Lord, In an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage. Verse 9, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness. All right, so there you go. I just read in, in, in Psalms 142, bring my soul out of prison. Okay? And, and that's what I chose to call to tonight's topic. Bring my soul out of prison. And over here in verse 9 it says, that thou say to the prisoners... Go forth to them that are in darkness. Show yourselves. They shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. All right? They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that have mercy on them shall lead them, and even by the springs of water shall he guide them. And I will make my mountains away, and my highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north, and from the west, and these from the land of Simon. Verse 13, this is the final verse, all right? Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Most High hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. All right? So, hey, uh, I, I, hope, I, I hope this was edifying, y'all. Kahala Yahawu, Bahashan Yahushai. Bahashem Rakakadash Shalawah.